hey, I'm skinny, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. It was hard growing up in New Orleans because it was, you know, everybody was like competing against each other, you know what I'm saying? Neighborhoods against neighborhoods, seven ward, nine ward, 13th ward, you know, it was, it was like, um, and when you move, you have to move with, with, with a few people because if you go by yourself, you know, you, you might get picked on. But it, I have a lot of good memories of New Orleans too. It's crazy how it be, it's crazy how it may sound, you know, in all that misery, we had fun, you know, and I, and I believe that was God. I know that was God now, you know what I'm saying? At the time that I was rolling the way that I was rolling, I didn't see God being there with me, you know what I'm saying? I thought I was out there in that misery by myself, but I wasn't. And that's the biggest thing that I, I, I love about my past in New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? Because it seemed like it, it sharpened me for when I left New Orleans to really see God. When I came to Jacksonville, um, because I, after that, I had caught a charge and I had went to jail. I, I, was, I was sentenced 30 years. And it was another reason why God showed me it was Him, because at this time I started praying. I started going back to church, but I wasn't serious. So I took that last charge and when I had, when the guy said I was possibly can get 30 years, I prayed. I said, God, if you get me out of this one, I'll go for sharing your name to anybody that sits still long enough. And he did. I still really started to understand the gospel when I started attending the Image Church. And a friend of mine, Jay Harris, was the one that introduced me to the Image Church. And I met him through another friend. And, and it was crazy on how when I got there, I wasn't really sure what I was hearing because I was so used to hearing religion. It's not about religion anymore. It's about understanding who God is and what his really purpose was for us as individuals and then bringing that to the next guy so he can recognize it. And then he go to the next guy and then he can recognize it. Get people out of the, get out of the misery of understanding that they can do it. Because that's misery. Because I knew I was trying to figure out how things ain't going right. But when I started giving it to God, it started to go right. And then I was like, man, I should have been to this. You know, but I had, I was caught up in something that, that, that a guy told me a long time ago, it's a me syndrome. You know, we think we, think we can do it. We have, to, we have to give it all to God, because God the only one that's gonna really show us how to maneuver away from our mess. Because each, you know, for me, my mess was unique from others but it was still mess, and I didn't know how to get away from my mess, because I didn't know I was in mess until I started seeing the gospel, and then I was like, gosh, what's really going on?